What I'm wondering is, uh, how, it, it, take a very poor African country in the sub-Saharan belt that has not much, but it has people who would like to it. It yeah. has a government with a fiat currency. How does it use these theories to build its own wealth? Well, they could immediately go to full employment and have a very nice place to live. Whatever resources they have, they have a lot more than ancient Athens did. <laughs> they did all right. Built a nice place. Some of those buildings are still there. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was a nice place. No IMF, no World Bank, no electricity, no bulldozers. Capital goods seem to flow in even to the poorest places, right? So, you know, at a minimum, with everybody working, and look, the difference is when you, Japan has no resources, right? right? And the difference is when people get up in the morning, do they spend their time piling up rocks or throwing them at each other? <laughs> and if you can organize your country with full employment where they're piling up the rocks instead of throwing them through each other's windows, then you come up with like one of the nicer places in the world to live, even without all the resources someone else might have that are largely frivolous anyway, right? How does MMTBD face the inflation problem caused by over-financialization, uh, speculation, things like that? So do you have any solutions for dealing with that so that it doesn't get in the way of you know, getting to full employment? No, well, I was gonna grab a grant. Okay. See if I can well, look, you, it's you, important. Can, you can always sustain full employment. And normally what we call inflation are Localized problems. It might be uh, the Saudis raising price because you know they're the price center at the margin, or it may be um, some real estate speculation or something like that. And, and these booms are never a problem until they reverse. In 2008, if we had immediately had a uh, full payroll tax holiday, FICA suspension halfway through 2008, and unemployment never got above five and a half percent we would still be talking about the financial crisis. The problem was we did not make a fiscal adjustment and we let the financial sector problems spill over into the real economy, which is a complete disgrace. We should never have let that happen. And if you look at the crash of 87, when the stock market crashed, unemployment did go up. And that's been largely forgotten. And so it's when we let the financial sector problems take away the aggregate demand that causes unemployment, and that's when we have the memorable crises in the, in the when we lose the alternative to make money investing in the real economy, and all people are left with is the, the financial system. I mean, I just threw up the graph that I sent to yeah. you, and I think you put it on your blog uh, the other day. But, you know, there's a very strong correlation between inflation rates globally and commodity prices. Yeah, they mostly they, come through the cost of it. Yeah, but, but it doesn't come from economies trying to run their economies at full employment. It doesn't come from right. doing the kinds of things we've been talking about today, getting to full employment, largely on the supply side. They're on the cost side. 